Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join me today as I make some oven roasted salsa. I've been making homemade salsa like fresh out of the garden for as long as I can remember in the summer. <laughs> but I saw a recipe for like a salsa verde that had you roasting the tomatillos in the oven and I thought, OMG, I have some tomatoes that have gotten wrinkly and I need to use them up so I'm going to make an oven roasted salsa with those. It's been a little humid and my tomatoes were sitting out on the counter and they started getting pruney. So I'm going to take my two packs of grape tomatoes along with some fresh jalapeno, fresh green pepper, red onion, and garlic. I'm gonna roast everything for about 30 minutes, 400 degrees. I think I'll check them every 10 minutes just so that those little tomatoes don't like explode in the oven. <laughs> Once everything's out of the oven and cooled, I'll process it up in my Ninja with some fresh cilantro. And then I don't know, maybe nachos for lunch? The smell, it smells so good. I did hear a couple of the cherry tomatoes pop and it kind of scared the crap out of me. So I have to see if it made a mess in the oven when I'm done. And I did a whole clove of garlic, but I don't know, that might be too much for the amount of tomatoes I have. Although I do love garlic. All right, I'm gonna give this a few minutes to cool down, get my cilantro ready, and then I will get it blended up. so flippin' excited. It smells just like Red Mesa salsa. My favorite place in Traverse City. Taste test, see if we need any more garlic or cilantro, but... Vegan Master Chef. I'm tempted to put a little more cilantro in it just because I love cilantro. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do some more cilantro. Taste test number two. More cilantro was the right move. I think it's perfect. I did end up using just half of that full clove of garlic that I roasted. I love salsa, I love tomatoes, so the tomato skins don't bother me, but if the tomato skins and salsa ever bother you, then I would not use the little grape tomatoes because obviously that's a lot of skin. You could probably do like a Roma or a beefsteak tomato and like scald it and get the skin off it, or it would actually probably be easy to get the skin off it after you roast it in the oven if it was a big tomato and yeah. All in all, I am calling this a major success. I am so happy it smells and tastes so good. And I just remembered I have some of my potato cheese in the fridge. So I think I'm gonna mix some of this up with some of the potato cheese and make a queso for my lunch. Side note, I tried making hummus yesterday and it did not turn out delicious. So I'm so happy that this turned out good. This will definitely be going into my recipe rotation and I'm not as scared to buy a bunch of tomatoes now because if they start going bad, they can become salsa. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and joining me for this oven roasted salsa recipe. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Be well. I'm trying to record. How do I want to say this? But why am I? What are you trying to say? Penny, be quiet. So I've got, oop. So I've got beef steak. <laughs> do I even need the beef steak tomatoes then? 
We're gonna skip the beefsteak tomatoes. What Sharpay say in High School Musical? Okay, last time. Some fresh cilantro, maybe a little lime juice. Why did I say lime juice when I don't have lime juice? Stop rambling. So I did use, look at that. Do I wanna do that one more time? I feel like my gums were sticking or my lips were sticking in my, whatever. Boom. Done.